Upstream oil and gas production requires many specialized pieces of equipment in a wide range of sizes and complexity. One piece that is critical to controlling the flow of oil and gas is a back pressure regulator. This valve maintains pressure on a production vessel, which is critical in the separation process of oil, gas, and water. Manufacturing a regulator involves many steps and numerous machining processes. It also requires a great number of outside suppliers to deliver specialized components needed to make these products function. In this video, we'll be following the manufacturing process for Kimray's most popular back pressure regulator, the 2-inch SGT-BP, or AAR. The raw castings of the valve bodies are delivered from a foundry and first stop at Kimray's automated machine shop, Territory 8. Here, an operator loads raw castings into a custom-designed tote and sends it into the automated machining cell. Robotics uses a 2D vision system to ensure part presence and part orientation. In this cell, two bodies are completely machined in one continuous automated process. Tools are programmed and accessed by the machine automatically as it drills and threads NPT ports, threads the seating surface for the removable seat, machines the gasket mating surfaces, and threads the two inch pipe connections. Coolant is continuously sprayed onto the surfaces to reduce and remove heat buildup in the cutting zone and workpiece. On average, about 200 AAR bodies are produced here in one working day. After it runs the part, in-machine probes monitor critical dimensions to verify that engineering specifications are met. When the cell doors open, the robot is ready to replace the completed body with a new raw casting. After a three to six hour automated run, an operator unloads the fabricated parts. Similar processes are done for the lower housing, pilot housing, upper housing, and bonnet. A quality operator uses a CMM machine to verify critical dimensions of the part in accordance with the specific control plan assigned to it. Then they go to the paint booth. Before painting can begin, the components must be washed. An operator suspends each part on the conveyor system as they move through the washer and then a dry chamber. In the paint booth, the parts are coated in Kimray's iconic red paint. With the body completed, the AAR still needs many other components which must be made before assembly can begin. Bar stock is delivered in an array of sizes from 3 8 to 8 inch, which are milled and delivered from a variety of distributors. Here, an operator loads an entire piece of bar stock on a bar fed machine. This machine cuts, threads, and machines the bar into a small but critical part called the pilot seat. When it is finished, the operator tests the part using a leak rate test. If components pass the test, they are washed and transported for later use in assembly. Another example of an AAR component that is made from bar stock is the filter body. This filter protects the pilot seat from potential debris it could encounter in the field. A machine, the Euro 1, cuts the length. Then, the robo-drill performs a boring operation.
This part is inspected for quality control before being sent off-site for zinc plating. When it returns, it is inspected again before making its way to a stock location or an assembly table. Many other components for the AAR are manufactured from bar stock, such as the diaphragm plate, the diaphragm nut, and the stem. A team member in receiving accepts supplier deliveries before a member of material handling prepares them for assembly. Some of these pieces are ordered from supply partners and arrive fully ready for assembly, including springs, spring plates, bolts, diaphragms, O-rings, breather plugs, connectors, and tubing. A parts puller gathers all the necessary product components according to specific lists for either assembly tables or assembly lines. At a table assembly, a team member uses these provided parts to skillfully build an entire product. High volume products like the AAR are instead built on an assembly line. A line assembly has all the needed pieces strategically placed at each station along the line, so each assembler has exactly what they need to complete their portion of the assembly process. Since every station needs to take approximately the same amount of time, if a process causes the line to become unbalanced, those parts are prepared ahead of time in a substation to keep up efficiency. Earlier, we saw how the filter body was machined. Now that same piece is part of a subassembly station. It is built up and attached to the pilot housing before being handed off to the line. When the assembly is complete, it is CTS tested. It runs multiple pressure tests to ensure the valve is not leaking downstream or to the atmosphere. If for any reason the valve does not pass, it would be tagged and moved to another operator for troubleshooting to make sure the issue is fully resolved and retested before the item is prepared for shipment. Before being boxed, one last technician applies touch-up paint. In the boxing department, an operator scans the item labels. After preparing the foam packing and placing the product in a box, the operator then sends it through an automated tape machine before being loaded onto a pallet. Some products, depending on the weight and physical size, must be crated instead of boxed. After being either boxed or crated, the final product is moved to the distribution center, or DC, where it's either put on the shelves or immediately allocated to a shipment. Anything leaving the DC will be going to an authorized distributorship or a Kimray store, where it is generally sold to an OEM, supply store, or an end user. Kimray also offers repair kits that are assembled by a special team and can be purchased for easy maintenance in the field for years to come. After a Kimray product leaves the store, its initial use may look different depending on the type of customer who buys it. To add another layer of customer service, Kimray team members provide support for installation. This is only one of the many products that Kimray manufactures. There are many other processes, machines, and operators that perform a variety of tasks to create the hundreds of products that are available today. 
With the support of our suppliers, team members, and other industry partners, Kimray is delivering valuable solutions that help energy producers around the globe power our future.